What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox. We do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 13 Pro and today we're back with a case from Totally. This is going to be one of their, I mean they got really kind of just thin cases. Now this is going to be the crystal clear version in hard. So they got a soft version of the clear and then they got kind of a frosted version but this is going to be the crystal clear version of their hard shell kind of plastic case this was just released i believe so we're going to check it out to see if it's a hit or miss for your 13 pro presentation this is what you're going to get in the mail looks very cool got a little branding right there minimalist got a little tab well actually yeah pull it out like that got another little layer we'd love to see love a review then all that good stuff put that to the side don't eat it and then we got a little extra packaging here. Let's go and check this one out. This is going to be a super thin case. Super thin. Now, when you first get this, and this is what I've, I've felt in the past, I'm like, man, this feels so thin that it feels kind of cheap. Now, when I say cheap, it just feels like something that's just going to be bare bones and maybe ding up quite a bit. But in my experience, these cases do what I needed to do. They're th very thin, so it feels like you're almost raw dog in your phone, but you get edge to edge protection. Where some of the cases, like, you know, you get a thin case, but then it's got the top part and bottom part exposed, and then you get dings, but this has got full edge to edge protection. So even though it may be thin, and you're probably not getting like 12 foot drop protection, but when I put it on the table, I'm not getting it scratched up. And that for me, that's what I really look for in a case. I don't need super, th I'm pretty careful. I don't need like a big boy defender case, like an otter box, but back in the day, but I really do want edge to edge protection. Let's go and take out the phone. Let's go and check it out. So we got material. Let's see if there's an interior. I think it's just on the edge. So you've got a cover on the actual, you can see a little tab right there. We'll remove that at the very end of the video or when we put it on. But plastic material, you can see edges protection. It's kind of like a hybrid feel to it. It's got a kind of a different feel to it. Um, you get, the cutouts are exposed. So you got you can see you got full access to the ports, but it is no branding, anything like that. It's super thin and really nothing to it, but crystal clear give me a show off that beautiful iphone so depending on your color if you guys got one of these yeah you know you want to show off the new colors of the iphone this may be the way to go without actually jeopardizing without actually having to actually use a big boy case you're getting still getting some nice protection edge to edge protection let's go ahead and take out that beautiful phone 13 pro still looking good and graphite let's go and wipe it down wipe it down like we do shine it up real nice before the 14s come out the cases are kind of running down a little bit. You guys know how it is at this time of season. We're getting like, looking forward to the next one. But this is still a really, really nice phone. Really, they held up really well. I like the color. Can't go wrong with that graphite. Let's go and take this off for a quick. Actually, let's go and slap it in first. Slap it in like this. Boom. And then we'll take this off. Beautiful. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look good, guys. So it's almost crystal clear. You can see it's maybe just a little bit muted down, but it's got a glossiness to it. Appears to be fingerprint resistant, which I appreciate. Full edge edge protection. Let's go and check out the camera. Now, I like what I did do here. Check this out. You can see how thin it is. The case is super thin, but the raised edges are on the camera hump. You got full edge edge protection on the camera. So very, very nice right there. So if you put it down, it does have a little bit of wobble. You can see that that's a negative, but unless you get a, like a really even like this one, even the, the official one has a little bit of wobble just because of the way the camera hump is. So I don't have any issues with that. So very nice camera protection all the way around the actual camera. Crystal clear. You can see Apple logo popping through in terms of grip. Not 100% positive on the grip yet. Some of these times these kind of wear a little bit, but it doesn't feel too slippery. That would have been my main concern coming into it because it does look like a little bit slippery, but it's kind of a hybrid between a hard plastic and then even like a gel style. So it's kind of a hybrid material. So I'm not sure how that's going to wear yet, but overall it does feel pretty grippy. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lizard. Lip protection, we're not getting much here. Let's be honest here. I've got a screen protector on it, so I don't feel too bad about it, but I don't got any like lippage at all. You can see the camera hunt, or the actual screen protector itself goes over the lippage. So you're really not getting nothing there. So don't don't go into this case thinking you're getting big boy protection. 
Alert slider, easy access. Volume up and down. Cutouts precise and clean, look good. Speakers look precise, look at that. Cutouts look awesome, like what they did there. And then you can see the cutout right there. I think it looks good, what do you guys think? Maybe a little bit off. Maybe a little bit too more deep right here, compared right here, in terms of the power. Could be wrong, could be just looking at it at an angle. And the power button right there. Now the, also, I'm, what I'm thinking is that this is gonna be so thin that it's gonna be MagSafe friendly. Let's go check it out though. Boom, sure enough. And you get pretty good grip. All right, so that's good. And let's go check out the wallet. Boom. It's, a, it's not crazy. So I, I would say, yeah, you're getting the, the MagSafe on the charger and a little bit on the wallet, but I would be scared to rock this like going into an actual event, like you're going to a concert or something like that. I'd be afraid this might fall out of your, your pocket. So it is compatible, but it's just not super, super magnetic. So overall, I really like this case. I like what they did there with this one. You're getting the full effects of a case that doesn't have a case or of a, <laughs> a phone that doesn't have a case on it but you got a case giving you scratch protection full edge charge now it is a little expensive i was able to get it like 20 30 percent off for one of the discounts so look around for a coupon code it brings the price down i think i paid like maybe 20 bucks for this one now again it is expensive considering what you're getting but for me the benefits of this one being so thin outweigh the negatives so i really like what they did with this one they're thinking outside the box giving you a really thin case but you can still take this one out and not have to worry about just basic scratches from putting it down on the desk. Overall, I'm going to call this one a hit. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? We calling it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.